Selling gift cards on your store is an easy way to increase conversion rates, thereby increasing revenue for your store. So in this video, I will show you how to sell gift cards on WordPress. With gift cards, you can offer special promotions which your customers can buy and give them away to their family and friends. So before we dive into it, let's see what we'll get by the end of this tutorial. Right here on my website, I have a gift card. So I go ahead and view the card. It is a birthday card. So for a customer to purchase this, they need to enter their name. So I go ahead and enter in my name. Next, I enter the gift message. You will have the opportunity to set the number of characters customers can use. I can increase the quantity from here or reduce it. Finally, I go ahead and enter the email address of the recipient. Then I add it to the card. I go ahead and view the cards or I can just go to checkout straightforward. From here, I enter in my billing details and I go ahead and place the order. And now the gift card coupon code will be sent to the recipient so that they go ahead and use it to make their orders on this website. So, if you want to be able to sell gift cards on your WordPress store, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. This is the website where I want to sell gift cards on. And to be able to sell gift cards on my website, I need to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins, I search for Ultimate Gift Cards for WooCommerce. And this is a plugin we are going to install Ultimate Gift Cards for WooCommerce by WP Swings. The plugin has over 4,000 active installations with over 100 five star ratings. I go ahead and install now. Then I click on Activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. And you see gift cards at the side menu here. Upon hovering on it, I go ahead and click on settings. Welcome to WP Swings. This is just a simple survey form you can go ahead and attend to. I'll skip it for now. And this will take me to the overview section of the plugin settings. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and click on general to start the settings. So first of all, for you to be able to add gift cards to your e-commerce website, you need to go ahead and enable it. So I do that right here. Next is enable tax. Ticking this box will enable tax calculation for gift cards products. I'm not going to enable tax for now. Next is enable listing shop page. If you want your users to see your gift cards products on the shop page of your website, you need to go ahead and enable this. And that is what I will do. You can also go ahead and allow your gift cards to be used individually. With this feature, you can set gift cards for individual use only so that customers won't be able to use it along with coupon codes. I'll go ahead and enable it. Next is allow gift card on free shipping. To use this, you need to make sure that free shipping is enabled in your shipping zone and also set to require a valid free shipping coupon. I'll leave it unchecked for now. Next is gift card coupon length. This is where you can go ahead and set the length of your gift card coupon code by specifying the number of characters you want. You can increase it or decrease it, whichever way you want. However, the minimum is set to five, so you cannot have it below five characters. So I leave it as the default. Next is gift card prefix. In here, you can go ahead and enter a prefix for your gift card coupon code. So if I enter for instance DK, my gift card coupon code will appear as DK with some numbers. However, it should be noted that this is not mandatory. I just want to show you the possibilities. Next is gift card expiry after this. In how many days time do you want your gift cards to expire? For instance, three, the gift card will expire after three days of purchase. If you don't want the gift card to expire, then you go ahead and set it to zero. Next is minimum spend and maximum spend. Using these two features, you can set the minimum or the maximum amount customers can spend in order to use their gift card. And finally, gift card number of time usage. How many times can this coupon be used before it becomes invalid? 
So if I enter two in here, it means customers can only use it twice before the coupon code becomes invalid. I'll leave it as zero for unlimited usage. Then I'll go ahead and save the changes. Next, I go over to products. First is exclude sale items. If you want users to be able to use the gift card on sale items, then you leave this box unchecked. However, if you don't want them to use the coupon code on sale items, then you go ahead and enable this checkbox. And that is what I will do. Next, I can go ahead and exclude some products and categories that I don't want this coupon code to be applicable to. So all what you need to do is go ahead and click in here and search for the product you want to exclude. I'll leave these two as they are for now. Then I'll go ahead and save the changes. Settings is saved. Next, I'll go to email template. The first feature is upload default logo. This is where you can upload an image that will serve as a logo for your email template. So I'll go ahead and upload an image. In here, you can go ahead and add images from your computer or you can go to the media library and choose an image from here. We are getting these images right here as a result of installing the plugin. For now, I'll go ahead and use gift card. So I click on show. Going down, I click on insert into post. And the image will appear right here. Awesome. You can also go ahead and set the logo height and width. I leave them as they are. Next is email default event image. This is where you can go ahead and upload an image which can be used as default image in your email template. This time around, I'll upload my own image. I have my image right here. I'll just drag it from my computer folder. Going down, I click on insert into post. Perfect. Next is gift card message length. That is number of characters customers can enter when buying gift cards. The default is 300 characters. You can go ahead and change it as you wish. Next is default gift card message and disclaimer text. So you can go ahead and enter all this if you want to. I leave them as they are for now. And finally, I go to mail settings where we have gift card email subject. I'll go ahead and enter in the email subject. Congratulations, you have a gift card from. Then adding this short code that is from will insert the name of the buyer of the gift card. So these are all the settings I want to do when I go ahead and save the changes. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Next is delivery method. Now, how do you want to deliver the gift card to your recipients? In here, you have two options. Enable email to recipient. Email to recipient will enable the normal functionality for sending mails to recipients on gift card products. And the second option is downloadable, which will enable a downloadable feature for gift card products. I'll go ahead and choose email to recipient and I'll save the changes. Next, I'll go to other settings. In here, you can go ahead and disable apply coupon code fields on cart and checkout pages. That is, if you don't want customers to be able to apply coupon codes. I leave it unchecked. I don't want to disable it. And I'll go ahead and disable preview button at the front end. And I save the changes. And that's all the settings I want to perform. I'm not going to go into gift card redeem. Now let's go ahead and check the templates that come with the plugin. So I go over to gift cards and I click on templates. In here, you have the opportunity to use any of these gift cards. Let me go ahead and preview gift for you. This is how the email will look like when it is received in the inbox of receivers. It will display the image, the amount on the gift card, the coupon code. So you see that I have DK, which will be included in my coupon code. The expiry date was set to no expiration. Right here is the gift card message, which will be sending to your receivers. And we also have the from email and to email. Awesome. I exit out of here. The next thing I'm going to do now is go ahead and create my gift card product. So to do that, I go over to products, then I click on add new. In here, I give my product a name. And I give it a product description. Going down under product data, I drop down the arrow, then I choose gift card. Next, I go ahead and enter my default price. I'll enter 200 and the pricing type 
is set to default at the moment you can drop down the arrow and choose whichever pricing type you want you can choose price range so that you have from price and to price the from price can be let's say 100 and the to price can be 200 which means customers will have the opportunity to enter any price between 100 and 200 now if you go to selected price in here you go ahead and enter some specific prices you want your customers to be able to choose from and you need to enter those prices separating them with pipe character you can also use user price where users can purchase any amount of gift cards they want and finally we have variable price where you can add more than one price to your gift card for now i'll keep it as default and next is email template in here you can go ahead and choose the particular template you want to use i'll leave it as gift card for you product description i'll also go ahead and enter in by text going up under categories i go ahead and choose gift card you can also specify some tax if you want i'm not going to do that the last thing i'm going to do is go ahead and set a product image so i click on set product image and i go ahead and choose an image from my media library and i set product image going up i publish the product now let's take a look at the product i open it in a new tab so this is what users will see when they choose to buy this particular gift card so let's go ahead and make an order to test it out the first field is from that is where you enter the sender name so i go ahead and enter in my name in the gift message i'll just go ahead and enter in this message you see that the number of characters i've used is 73 characters next is quantity i can increase it to the number of gift cards i want to buy i leave it as one for now and finally i go ahead and enter the recipient's email then i click on add to cart then i go ahead and view the cart so in here you have all the details where the gift card is going the sender and the gift card message so next i go ahead and proceed to check out in here i go ahead and enter my billing details pretty quick i've entered my details then i go ahead and place the order thank you your order has been received and from here you see all the details for the purchase the payment method is cash on delivery so i need to go ahead and mark the order as complete so that the recipient will be able to receive the gift card so I go to the back end of my website, then I hover on WooCommerce, click on orders. So this is the new order here, it is processing. I just go ahead and select it. Then I go ahead and mark it as completed. Then I update. Now let's see how the recipient will receive the email. In here, there's a new message for the recipient. Congratulations, you have a gift card from Swadik Tana. I go ahead and open it up. And this is how the gift card will come up perfect so with this the recipient can go ahead and use this coupon code to make their purchases this is the amount on the gift card the coupon code expiration is set to no expiration and then the gift card message is from swadik dana and it is being sent to seswadik at gmail.com so let me go ahead and grab the coupon code and i go to the front end of my website i'll just go ahead and open up the shop page in a new private window i'll go ahead and select this product then i add it to cart it is added right here going down maybe i want to buy any of these related products so i add this one to the cart next i go ahead and view the cart and this will bring me to the cart page in here i enter the coupon code and i click on apply coupon and you see that the subtotal is $214.80 and the coupon code amount is $200, which means I'll be left with $14.80 to pay. I proceed to check out. I go ahead and enter my billing details. Then I click on place order. Thank you. Your order has been received. So this is how the recipient can go ahead and use the coupon code that is being sent to them. I exit out of here. So that's it. On how to sell gift cards on your website in order to increase the conversion rate for your e-commerce store all right guys i hope you found value in today's video if you did 
kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you will be the first to know keep watching and i will see you in the next one